Last year, investment professionals indicated optimism about the future, despite being in the middle of a pandemic. A year later, the Asia-Pacific private capital market is recovering its strength and compensation levels are rising. Our Hydrogen Struggles annual survey of investment professionals in the Asia-Pacific region revealed the industry's ability to handle difficult market conditions, setting a favorable context for hiring and compensation in 2021. Let's discuss how private equity firms in the region navigated through the changing landscape and how leadership roles and hiring are evolving in response. Shadi, what were your three main takeaways from the Asia-Pac private equity compensation survey this year? One of the key findings was the steady increase in cash compensation in the private equity industry overall, despite the grappling uh, uh, with, with the after effects of, of the pandemic. Uh, additionally, uh, I think the sectors that uh, you know have shown the greatest uh, resilience in the past two years, inclu- including through COVID, uh, were healthcare, consumer, technology, and the renewable uh, sectors. Uh, we've also notified that uh, uh, that private equity firms are moving more into multi-strategy approaches, uh, where uh, you know industry experts uh, combined with local knowledge will become certainly in high demand. Stephen, based on the report findings, can we conclude that there is a sense of cautious optimism compared to last year? I guess a couple of things in play here. First, um, you know, certainly there's more funds being raised. However, it takes a number of years to uh, deploy the capital and see the results. So the two don't always synchronize at the time. Second, when we did this survey, uh, the secondary market was uh, you know, picked at uh, its valuation. Um, when it comes down, uh, it takes longer for the PE firms to seek the exit for their investments. And third, um, you know, although a lot of the you know, travel restrictions has been lifted, still people are restricted uh, in travel. So uh, a lot of the PE deals need to, uh, to have a face-to-face conversation to close the deal. Uh, we see um, certainly those uh, cautious sentiment uh, out there.